Okay, now this is the last question for this paper, uh, November 2020. Uh, question number seven. Find the number of different ways in which 10 letters of the word shopkeeper can be arranged so that all three E's are together. So we have 10 letters in this. All the three E's have to be together. So we make three E's. We can have three E's together. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So seven remaining numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven and three. So we have total 10. So all E's are together. Whenever we have them, anything together, we form this as one block. So that's taken as one. So that's the second one. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, and eight. So now the first block is has three E's. Now let's suppose if they were not three E's and it's, the question was A, B, and C have to be together. So then this would have been three factorial because they can arrange within themselves, within the block. Now, since we have three E's which are repeating, so we will have three factorial for the three E's and three, they're all repeating, so three factorial divided by three. So it's three factorial divided by three, applied by, now, how many different arrangements do we have? Because that block, the block number one can come over here, 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 or anywhere. So that's just gonna be, it can come in eight different places. That's eight factorial. Because we have labeled this as one and the remaining from two to eight. So that's eight we have in all. And out of the eight, how many are repeating? We can see over here, we have two P's. So eight factorial divided by two factorial. So we have this as two zero one six zero. That's the answer to the first part. Now, part two, find the number of different ways in which the 10 letters of the word shopkeeper can be arranged so the two P's are not next to each other. Now let's find out the possible number of arrangement of the word shopkeeper. So we have 10 factorial because there are 10 letters divided by the number of letters that are repeating. So there are two P's and there are three E's. These are the total number of possible arrangements we can have for the word shopkeeper without any restrictions. And that's gonna give us 302400. So from the total number of arrangements that I have without restriction of the word shopkeeper, I'll subtract that the two P's are together. So if the two P's are together, I have the two P's over here. So that's P, that's P, that's again going to be two factorial divided by two factorial because there are two P's and both the P's are the same. Now, how many blocks do I have remaining? I have eight of these remaining because they're total 10. So that's going to be eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now I'm gonna form this as one block and I'm gonna have these as remaining. So we have nine. So that's gonna be two factorial divided by two factorial for the two Ps. They can be arranged in nine different possible ways, nine factorial divided by whatever is repeating and what's repeating, the three E's are repeating. So we have, this is gonna give us the possible arrangements of the two P's are together. The question says, find the number of different ways in which 10 letters of the word shopkeeper can be arranged so that the two P's are not together, not next to each other. So this is the total possible arrangements without any restriction, 302-400 minus that the two P's are together it's gonna give us that they are not together, not next to each other, which is two, four, one, nine, two, zero. And that's the answer. The next part. Find the property that the randomly chosen arrangements 
find the property that a randomly chosen arrangement of the 10 letters of the word shopkeeper has an E at the beginning and an E at the end. So there's an E over here and an E over here. Since both the E's are the same letters, so it really doesn't matter which one comes where. So now what do we have? We have eight in between, eight letters in between. So that's gonna give us eight factorial. Out of the eight factorial, how many are repeating? The two P's. So the two divided by two P's. That is the, that is finding that the possible arrangements that the two E's, uh, one is at in the beginning and the one is at the end. So that's the number of arrangements for the E's, like the question says. Now, but the question is asking for the probability. So the probability would be whatever we have, the two E's, one E at the end, one E at the uh, beginning, or the two E's at each end, we have eight factorial divided by two factorial. Since this probability is going to be probability is this required thing divided by the total number of possible arrangements. That's 10 factorial, like we did in the previous part, divided by the two P's and three E's. And we get this as, or we can rewrite this as eight factorial divided by two factorial and divided by 10 factorial over two factorial factorial is the same thing. So we get the answer as one over 15. Now for this part D, four letters are selected from the 10 letters of the word shopkeeper. Find the number of different selections. So that's combination. All the previous parts A, B, and C were talking about arrangements. So that's permutation. So this, this is the difference between permutation and combination. In combination, you have selection. In permutation, you have possible arrangements. Or uh, instead of selection, you can also have your choosing or you choose number of ways. Now find the number of different selections if the four letters include exactly one P. Okay, so if we have one P, so what are the other possibilities that we can have? Since we have two P's, so we have P, P, E, 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 and then we have, so that's five, and then we have five different letters, one, two, three, four, five letters that are not repeating. So there are two over here, three over here, and five over here. The, these are the possible letters that we have in the word shopkeeper, which are 10, two, three, and five. Now remember, there's only one P that we have to select. One P that we have to select. And now we can also have, since we are selecting four, and there should be only find the number of different selections of the four letters that include exactly one P. So four letters, which is only gonna include one P. So in the start, we have one P, so we cannot take this anymore. 